In today's video, I'm going to be taking an old digital camera to a gig. The camera in question is a Fujifilm Finepix F440 from 2004. The reason why I chose this camera, mainly because if you've seen my videos before, it's normally on display. And I've had a few people ask me to do a video of this one, as well as I've just made a video with that Sony Cybershot. So if you'd like to see that, it's the previous video. But this video, I'll be taking this camera out for a few normal days, a few normal photos. And I also thought it'd be interesting to take it to a gig that I'm going to in London to see how it performs. I'll take a few pictures, take a few videos on it and see how it does under the lights. Now, the reason that I made this video was to see what a camera like this could do at a gig. I'll be showing videos and photos from that at the end of the video. But typically, I like to take a camera out for like a few days before going to the main event or my main location of shooting just to get used to the settings and get a good feel for the camera. This is a camera that I've had in my collection for some time. It's been on display in the videos in my background and I haven't used it enough to be honest. I've actually made a video on it in the past but where I use so many different cameras this one sort of gets sidelined just because I like the look of it and it is a nice display model but it is a really cool and fun camera to use. I originally went down the Fujifilm Finepix rabbit hole of looking at their boxier cameras. This one is from 2004 and it's no surprise, I don't know why I seem to be using a lot of cameras from 2004. There's no particular reason why this must have just been a good year for cameras. Well, cameras that I like anyway. So what I'll do is I'll leave you with some pictures of the few days leading up to the gig. Typically I like to just go to like some nice places and these cameras are perfect because you can just slip them in and out of your pocket. This one's great because it has the small form factor but it's got a bit of girth to it like you know it's there. If you watched my last video that camera was so thin the Sony Cybershot I used it felt like it wasn't even in your pocket but at least with this one it has a little bit of weight to it. I really enjoyed using this camera over the past few days because it was sunny and I don't know, I just had really good vibes with it and I quite like the pictures that I actually took. So the day of the gig came, I was so excited, it was up in London, it was at a venue called the Ali Pali, known as the Alexandra Palace and it was a band called The Smile. If any of you know of a band, a small band called Radiohead. It is the lead singer Tom York and the guitarist Johnny Greenwoods. I say side project, but it is it is really good. I do recommend listening to it. They've made some really good music and I was excited to see them live. I did grab a couple of pictures on my way through London because it's always exciting and it's just a bit of a different landscape for me because I'm not from the city. But this day was really mainly for the event and I had it in my head that I wanted to show video footage from one of these old cameras, so I decided it to be this one. This camera does capture movie at 10 frames per second with sound as well, but I'm not sure how much sound I'll be able to add into the video because of copyright reasons. I'll also go into some more in-depth specs about the camera at the end of the video, but I would like this channel to be more about how the camera actually works in the real world. Because if you're going out to buy one of these cameras, yes, it's great to know the specs, but at the end of the day, you just want to see what it does. So I hope this video does it for you.
So that was the London gig with my Fujifilm F440. I really enjoyed this camera. Obviously the video is not going to look great, we know this, but I'm going for that sort of old early 2000s party look. It was quite a weird venue when we got in there. It was a bit like an empty warehouse, I'm not going to lie. But when it people started to come in and the music started, then obviously it just felt amazing. The lighting, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was all quite dark and nice colours. And obviously it's very hard to get a picture because you stood there, you're getting knocked about slightly by people around you because it's very busy and the lighting will obviously blur and smudge and all that stuff. So, But I was quite happy with the pictures and the videos. And at the end of the day, I've got a really good memory with a great little camera. I'll just go over some specs of the camera. And I just want you to know, overall, this is probably one of my top five. I know I'm saying it's probably in my top five. I use a lot of cameras. And I think it's because it's got a bit of a sentimental feeling to me. It's on my display. I see it every day. And it's just really fun to use. The form factor makes it feel amazing. It's like having a little square well it's a little square camera basically in your pocket and that's all that you want in life isn't it so it's a 4.1 megapixel camera annoyingly well i say annoyingly it's a ccd sensor and that's what many people are looking for when they get one of these cameras but fujifilm actually released their own super ccd sensor in uh, many of their cameras and it doesn't feature on this one which is slightly annoying would have been nice to have but i can live without it with this specific model. It uses a rechargeable battery, and obviously if you've got the dock like me, you can just pop it on a dock and it will start charging. It also uses the XD picture card from Olympus. Now, it does have a viewfinder. I have never used it, I haven't even bothered to use it because it's quite pointless. You can't really frame your image exactly how you want to. But the two inch LCD monitor on the back is amazing. It's like really bright, so you can see all your details, even on a sunny day. When I was at the beach, I could see exactly the pictures I wanted to capture. Also, for sunny days, it has a low ISO setting of 80. The camera has a few different settings that you can change. Obviously, it has a manual mode as well, but I wouldn't say it's as extensive as other cameras that I've seen. There's a few different things you can change up, like the ISO, but not a whole bunch. It's quite, I guess it's quite a basic version of this camera range back in the day. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I haven't actually been to the concert yet because I'm filming this before going, so I'm really excited and intrigued to see how the camera performs on a night like that. I've had the camera for a while and I really do enjoy it. The form factor's perfect. It's really small and slips in your pocket, but it also has a bit of girth to it, so you know it's there. If you did enjoy this video, or if you didn't, let me know in the comments below. And if there's any cameras you'd like to see me use in a future video, just let me know and I'll get back to you in the comments and I'll see if I can do that one. So thank you for watching and goodbye.